So a new character just dropped, Han Ying. She looking mad thick, mad nice. We're going to do a character review right now. I'm going to just try to see what she's all about and see all the skills and then showcase them to you guys. All right, let's get to it. Ballad of Bamboos. Red Orb. Swings the fan to deal damage. And it deals 80, 160, 240, depending on the orbs you're paying. All right, it's pretty basic. All right, this is red. Uh, Coda of Butterflies. Coda? Coda? Yeah, I think so. Yellow orb swings multiple fans to attack enemies dealing damage. This is yellow now. Fire. Burst of breeze. This is the blue orb. Damn, this one seems this one has way more than the other ones. Let's let's get into it. Leaps into the air and spins, dealing damage to surrounding enemies and restores and restoring the HP of nearby allies. Activate the ultra limit torque effect that increases physical damage. And then it restores HP equal to 15, 30, and 45, depending on how many orbs you're paying, of Hang Ying's attack. Hang Ying's attack, based on the number of orbs paying, yeah. And then you activate the ultra limit torque effect that increases physical damage. Ultra limit torque increases physical damage by 10% for 8 seconds. Duration refreshes when stacks overlap. Oh, shit. This is blue. All right, basic attack. Flight of clouds. Let's see. Swings the fan and dances, dealing multiple hits to enemies. Basic attack, recovery, signal orbs faster. Dance and dance stance. Dance, dancer stance. Deals 420 physical damage in total. So I'm guessing that's the whole string of attacks. Do basic attacks now. Enchanting Emergence. Tap basic attack after dodging. Leaps into the air to unleash multiple fans that orbit around her and deal damage. Deals 90% physical damage in total. Fire. So this is like a dodge tap. All right. Tap basic attack after dodging. Oh, they could have said this better. Oh, whatever. All right, we're going to show dodge basic attack. One more time. All right, let's see. Skill dance. Oh, my God. Got a whole paragraph up in here. Spring of Emerald Flow. Any three ping. Hang Ying gains one dancer point after any three ping up to four points. Okay. So after any three ping, she gains one dancer point and you can stack it up to four. All right. So now we're going to see how to gain dancer points. Let's see. You do a three ping, you should gain one. All right. That's point of the current. All right, so it shows it there at the bottom. Look, right where the dodge is, there's a little line right under it where it says mouse two. Right under that, there's a you, you're gonna see a little line that shows you that you gain one dancer point. Let's see, makes sense. Dancer of Emerald Flow, at least one dancer point. So after any three ping, at least one dancer point you need to have plus tap dodge. After spending one dancer point, Hang Yi will perform a choreography, entering dancer stands, recovering 16 signature energy, and gaining one stack of emerald flow. We dodge. And we go into dancer stands. And now we can ping. Ooh. Damn, so you can gain 16 energy. If you can stack this up to four, let's say you do four or three pings, you gain 16 energy each time you do, you waste one dancer point? Yo, that's goaded. All right, let me see. And dancer stands, all signal orbs will be converted into dance orbs with color unchanged that cast points of emerald flow when ping. And Hang Ying can only perform one pings. Okay, so whenever you're in dancer stands, only one pings. Doesn't matter if you have multiple. Okay, makes sense. Again, super armor and 50% damage reduction while casting points of emerald flow. Let's see. Each stack of emerald flow will increase the base damage of poise of emerald flow or vision of mountains by 20 percent max four stacks okay so this is another four stacks you get stacks at the bottom look at the defense at the bottom you, those are how many stacks of i think emerald flow you get and each one of those increases your damage so yeah each time let's say you have four that's what i'm getting from this you say you got four you do uh four dodges back to back and you should get uh max stacks of emerald flow Okay, exiting dancer stance will reset emerald flow to zero. It seems like it's better to do four three pings and then go into dancer stance. Let's see though. 
Performing four consecutive choreographies will leave behind a healing zone that restores the HP of allies. Okay, so yeah. And the area and grants ultra limit torque, which increases physical damage. So whenever you have four three pinks, pretty much, whenever you got four dancer points, if you tap dodge back to back, then it will leave behind a healing zone that restores HP. Okay. So now we got four stacks on the dodge. You can see that they are the dodge bar. And then if we do one, two, three, four, we get the healing circle. Choreography deals 220 physical damage. The healing zone restores allies HP equal to 10% of Hanyu's attack. So what happens if you do the healing zone and then you do the blue ping? Let me see. I guess you get more health back. You get more based on the attack. Okay, that's cool. She's like a really good healer then. Uh, let's see. Uh, restores allies. Okay. Ballad of Whittling Bamboos. Dancer stance, pink, red. All right. Poise of Emerald Flow swings the fan to deal damage. Ex exiting dancer stance afterwards. Okay. 300. Physical damage. It's going to be the red. All right. So she dashes forward and then does the same thing, but bigger. Coda of Scattering Butterflies. Pink yellow, poise emerald flow yellow, steps on the airborne fan and dashes forward, gathering surrounding enemies. Okay. Exit dancer stance. I guess after all of them, you exit. Yeah. Exit dancer stance. Okay. We got one stack. Dodge. Now the yellow one. And uh, high location, gathering surrounding enemies, around and dealing damage. Exit dancer stance. Yeah, this one just does damage. It's going to be the blue. That one is nice. When you're on dancer stance, all the orbs just do damage. They don't heal you. But when you're on regular stance or, you know, her regular shit, you get heals from the blue. Plus, you know, if you can do four consecutive choreographies, choreographers, you can leave behind a healing zone also. Okay, makes sense. Signature move. 100 energy, taps it, yeah. Opens her fan to reveal the painted world and deals damages around the enemies. Exiting dancer stance afterward, if in dancer stance. So it doesn't give you anything for being in dancer stance. It just... You just exit it if you're in it. Okay, deal 600 physical damage, fire. First, let's do the ultimate. You see, you lose all your stacks. Leaps into the air and spins, dealing damage to the surrounding enemies and restoring HP of nearby allies. Activates the ultra limit torque effect. Uh, whatever. Bing, bing, bang. Restores HP of allies in a large... Oh, so her QTE in a large area equal to 50. Damn, her QTE gives a lot of healing compared to her skills. Okay, and then she heals with that. Because if I'm not getting this... Yeah, this one's 45. If you do a 3 ping of the regular blue... And this one right here, the healing circle, uh, 10% only. Yeah, and this one is 45, but you got to do a three ping. So the QTE gives you 50% of her attack. It's way better. Okay, makes sense. Increase the HP of all members. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Hitting the monitor increase by 10. Fire. Gains three signals when entering battle. All right, now let's see if I'm getting her right. Let's get to showcase everything. Okay, we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna do one, two, three. We got four already. One, two, three, four, and then we do big attack. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then we do one, two, three, four. And then we old. One. Two, three, four. We got one stack, two stacks, three stacks, four stacks. Oh, and you can dodge while doing this. She's nice. Let's finish it off with the old. Oh, the old doesn't do that much. All right. All right, let's get stacks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Oh, she's nice. You can have pretty much four more dodges than you normally have because of building those stacks. Plus, you build damage while building them, too. Ah, she's nice. I like it.